What is Femboy69 doing? Oh, he's woken up and he's grabbed his phone and he's scrolling on social media. Okay, well, we're not too surprised, are we? But then, wait, he's on the hub? Already? No, Femboy, you're not about to fap, are you? Oh, Femboy69. But then, there's you. When you wake up, you don't grab your phone. You're instantly outside watching the sunrise, breathing in the fresh air. You're so focused on the good habits that you don't even know what fapping is. Before I heard of no fap, I used to be the kind of bomb of the bucket crab. I was the crab right at the bottom of the bucket. I was working at a restaurant from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., but it would usually go on to midnight. I'd go home. I would fap because it's late at night. Not even because I was horny, just because it was late at night. It was dark and I was bored. I had nothing else to do. So I would then fap. I would then wake up at 8 a.m., stay in bed until 10.30, until I literally had to drive and rush to work. And those couple hours I was in my bed doing nothing except this one motion. <laughs> I literally would probably not three times in the morning before I went on my shift at a restaurant talking and serving with customers. Can you imagine that? How poor my mental health was, how dirty I felt serving customers literally minutes, like half an hour after I've done the deed. First thing I did when I woke up wasn't anything productive. It was grab my phone and scroll through social media, eventually stumble on softcore porn and then go on the hub. And I did that every day for about a year. So you can probably tell that I was in a very bad place. I was the crab at the bottom of the barrel. However, I eventually came across something known as NoFap, which if you've been watching self-improvement, anything with to do with getting better mentally, you probably have seen this word known as NoFap. It's basically the idea of stopping it. And when I heard about all the benefits, watching more and more, I kind of instantly knew, yeah, they're right, 100% the disadvantages of over-sexualizing your brain to the point that you can't even talk to other women, to the point that you feel so disgusting as a human being, knowing that you kind of need to stop and you get this from post not clarity I knew that what they were talking about was right. I knew that I had to stop. So I went on to NoFap to see if it actually worked, if the benefits were true. And there's one major thing I realized that after 730 days, I'm now no longer on NoFap. I basically failed NoFap after 730 days. And there's one big reason why it doesn't work. Let me explain to you why. I knew that NoFap was good, right? I knew that stopping was going to help me become better both mentally. I was so in such a dark mental headspace, pretty much 24 seven. For a whole year, I didn't feel great. I knew that I needed to stop. I knew that I needed to progress. And NoFap was probably one of the only ways out there that actually taught you to stop. However, it's also now one of the worst ways out there to help you to stop. I mean, when you kind of think about it, it was the very first one that came out, you know, no fat, the idea of stop beating your meat and actually improving mentally and physically. Well, obviously there will be more things that come out in the future and the first one isn't going to be the best one. There'll be always better ways. It's like how your first video on YouTube is going to be terrible. After a hundred videos, you probably have improved. NoFap is probably one of the worst ways to actually stop beating your meat in modern day society. So what is the better version? What is the best version to actually stop? Because I knew that NoFap didn't work because after 730 days, after two years being on it, I still struggled. I still struggled with my porn addiction. I still struggled with fapping. After two years, 730 days of being on NoFap, I still struggled. I wasn't cured. And I know one big reason why. It's because you are counting the days that you are on NoFap, which makes you focus on the streak. For example, let me put this into terms that like, you know, I'm getting up to my 20s now that the younger generation will understand. Snapchat, a sort of thing on Snapchat known as a streak. And you basically, you talk to this one other person once a day, and that considers a part of the streak. And you can do this for how many days? Say, for example, you had a streak where you basically talk to this person every single day, 400 days. So you would see next to this person, your streak, 400 days. That's impressive. You've talked to this person consistently for 400 days, but then say you don't. You actually lose that streak, whatever the reason is. Maybe your phone died. Maybe you were just busy that day and you actually didn't go on your phone. You suddenly lose 
that streak. You next go onto Snapchat and you don't see that 400 days anymore. You see a big fat zero. Do you think, oh yeah, I'm going to get up and get back to that 400 days again? Well, no. That 400 days has just gone down the drain. You don't want to go back and restart. Are you going to try and get back to that 400? No, you aren't. It's the same thing with NoFap. Say you're focused so much on the days so of, say, you're on day 90 of NoFap. You're getting all these kind of benefits, but then you mess up once suddenly that day 90 has gone down to day zero and it's almost as if you've lost all the benefits which obviously isn't true that's like if a fat man had diabetes right and he's trying to lose weight and you tell him oh yeah by the way the moment you mess up one day one second you have to completely start again you've lost all the progress no obviously that's not true that's really cruel i'm not gonna tell that to you so if the problem with nofap is that we focus so much on the streak so when we mess up we feel like we've lost all the benefits and you quit, you give up. What's the better version? Let me introduce you to less fap. Now, I want you to imagine, right, in the next month, say you fap at least once a day. We all probably know it's more than that for the majority of guys. But let's just go with the bare minimal once a day. That means in a month, you would have fapped 30 times. For next month, if you aim to only fap 25 times, would you say that you've improved? Well, yes, obviously. Yeah, you're, you're having five times, well, not five times, five days less. That's a big improvement. And I can definitely do that. And then after that month, you achieve that 25 days rather than 30, maybe you can try 20 and you achieve that. Then that goes down to 15, that goes down to 10, that goes down to two, that goes down to one. It feels weird telling you that the way to stop is to set yourself the goal, oh yeah, I'm gonna fap 25 times next month. That seems like counterproductive, but you kind of understand where I'm coming from. Because when you actually gradually decrease that, your mind is always focused on the fact that you are improving. So therefore you're not going to want to give up. And when you actually get to like five, five times you're fapping in a month, honestly, you won't be thinking about it at all. You're only fapping two, three, five times a month. That is very impressive. That puts you ahead of like 90% of the population. When you get down to that 10, to that five, to that two, you aren't going to be worried about it. You aren't going to be thinking about it. You've actually just cured yourself. This is the actual reality of how I actually managed to stop, how I actually managed to improve mentally. I basically just pretended that I wasn't even on no fat. And I was on less fab because that way I actually stayed consistent. I hope this has helped you out. If you are genuinely trying to improve and make a start and change your life, you don't know where to begin. This channel, I will give you all the resources so you can start on your own journey. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And more importantly, stay consistent and don't give up. Ah, oh, the sun. It's very, very sunny today. It was cloudy and it was raining, so I was going to record inside, but the sun came out. So I'm taking my chance. Taking my chance and recording in the nice sun. Oh, oh. You know what time it is. Alright, come here, something from a kiss.